Hey there architects and architecture students, if you are looking to save time and take your designs to the next level, then this video is definitely for you. I will be introducing you to an incredible AI tool that will completely change the way you work as an architect and 3D visualizer. This tool is a game changer, allowing you to bring your ideas and concepts to life with just a few clicks. In today's video, I will be showing you how this AI tool can make your life a whole lot easier. So let's dive in and explore the amazing features this AI tool has to offer. The first feature I would like to discuss is sketch to realistic renderings. To convert your hand drawn sketches to realistic renderings, you can click this drop down and select sketch renderings. By the way, you can also access the main AI tools from here. But I found this menu to be more convenient. Anyway, I am going to select sketch rendering. If I scroll down, you will be able to see what other users have created with this amazing AI tool. You can upload your hand drawn sketch by clicking here. On the left side, there is a prompt where you can specify the type of rendering you desire. For now, I will leave it blank. Below this prompt, there is an option to add a reference image, which helps Prom AI understand your vision more clearly. Here we got these two options. And for the most part, V1 works on just fine. Let's click on style. Since we are focusing on architecture, I will select that option. There are plenty of choices available. So I will go with commercial residential. And then select skyline modern. Next, we have the mode tab where you can choose how much creativity you want the AI to use. I will go with precise for this one. The advanced toggle provides access to negative prompts, allowing you to exclude specific elements from your renderings. There are two additional options below. Enabling detailed mode will enhance the image with more details, but it might take a bit longer to render. I will keep this option off for now. Enabling fast mode will grant you priority in the image generation process, but I will also leave this off. Lastly, we need to choose how many images we want to create. I am going with three images. Let's go ahead and hit generate. Since we chose the creativity option precise, that's why we got similar results. But keep in mind, all of these were created using just basic settings, no prompts or anything needed. It took only around 30 seconds to generate these three images. Pretty cool, right? Now let's experiment with option V2 using the same sketch. I'm going to choose the style as realistic, the scene as architecture, and the building as a residence. For the rendering mode, I will go with structure. V2 offers a few more options. You can adjust the creativity slider to control how much creativity AI puts in. I will keep it at default values. In the advanced settings, I will select the camera angle as wide. You can also choose to generate a night or day rendering. If you want a night rendering, you can choose a lighting option here. To create a day rendering, simply remove the lighting by clicking the X icon. Now let's add a basic prompt and click generate. And your desired renderings will be ready within seconds. You can download the image by clicking here. If you are curious about what Prom AI has to offer for interior renderings, you will be happy to know that you can use the same methods for interior renderings as well. I will upload the image and add a prompt. We will set the style to be realistic. Navigate to the scene tab, select the interior category and choose the kitchen option. I will choose the precise mode and keep creativity at 40%. We will go with a wide camera angle and I will not add any lighting effects. Let's click generate. Incredible. It's hard to believe we have these results in just 30 seconds. When I first tried out this AI, I was truly amazed by the outcomes it produced. Just think about how much faster Prom AI can make our work. Prom AI also offers floor plan rendering options. Just upload your floor plan sketch. 
select the V1 option, then click on style. I will choose interior design and then floor plan. There are plenty of style options to choose from. I will go with minimal look and set the mode to precise. Hit generate and just like that we have got these awesome floor plan renderings. As a 3D visualizer you know how much time it would have taken to create these on your own. Another cool feature I want to show you is landscape plans. Let's select sketch rendering, upload your own image. First I will click on style and head over to landscape and there are tons of options to choose from. I will pick watercolor and set the mode to precise and hit generate. The outcome is seriously impressive. Now that we have covered converting sketches to renderings, let's talk about turning 3D renderings into sketches. Simply select photo to sketch from the drop down menu, upload an image. I will upload this facade design, then choose a sketch style you like. Set render mode precise and hit generate. There you have it, the results turned out pretty good. Now let's see how to render a 3D model. Here I am using Revit to export a 3D image. You can do this with other CAD programs as well. You just need to export the image of your 3D model. Make sure to set the visual style to shaded for better results. And export the image. Now I am going to upload it to Prom AI and add a prompt. We will set the style. Let's click generate. And you can see the results are just amazing. Next we have the erase and replace tool, which is my personal favorite feature that ProMAI offers. With the help of this tool, you can erase or replace any objects in your 3D renderings with ease. You can access this tool from the left sidebar or from the drop down menu at the top. Once you upload an image, it will take a little time to read the objects in your renderings and separate them so that you can easily select them. If you want to select only a small part of an object, you can use the brush tool and paint it on your renderings. After doing that, you can proceed to add the prompt and hit generate. You will be able to choose from the three samples that were generated. Then click the check mark to keep it as the final one. This tool will definitely help you edit your renderings with ease and save a lot of your time. The next tool I would like to highlight is image variation. Let's upload this image. I will put the prompt neoclassic design, adjust the variation slider. The higher values you put, the more variation you will see in your rendering. I don't want to change it too much, so I will reduce the slider and hit generate. As you can see, it generated some pretty cool design options to choose from. Now let's talk about the image to video tool. With this tool, you will be able to create animation out of your renderings. Let's load an image and I will write a prompt. Adjust the motion intensity and hit generate. There you go. We created this cool animation using the image to video tool. If you look at the top left, you will notice these coins. You can click on them to learn more about how they work. With a free account, you get 10 coins per month. This means you can generate up to 100 images per month with a free account. For a limited time, you can get a subscription at discounted rate of 26% by using the link provided in the description below. So these were the features of Prom AI that I wanted to share with you. There are plenty of other options that Prom AI offers. So make sure to explore them all. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.